together. That's the solution, bro. Not being an individual. You think you got, you got a one time, I got, I got my own business. I'm good, I'm coochie. But your brothers on the, on, on the streets killing themselves. They, your sisters on the streets getting whored the hell out. Sex trafficking all over the place. We gotta stop that as men. We gotta do it. We, we the ones that gotta be the one to stop that. Right? Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says you have to gather yourself together. That's the solution. Absolutely, he was listening. You correct me. I didn't think he was listening. All praise. So the Bible says that out of all the families, right? Because think about it. You want to go to church? No. But you probably you know about church, right? You hear, you hear certain, certain things and on TV and whatnot. When it comes to God loving everybody, that's what that's the, that's the main thing, right? It says God loves everybody, right? Is that in the Bible though? Hey bro, hey bro, with a jacket. Hey, does God love everybody? He don't? <laughs> he got hate? Is all So who, who, who does God who does God hate then? Oh I'm sorry, who does he love? Who does God love? Alright, who does God love? Yeah. Ask her maybe what? How, what does that mean? And that's, that's real vague, huh? Follow his laws. Okay. I right, so say no a little bit. Okay. Do you follow God's laws? Yes, sir. Impossible. So I think it's impossible for God to love somebody then. All is the law. Okay. So that means it's impossible for God to love? Yes, sir. Everything, every we we listen. Hold on, hold on. Come here. God, God, deal with you. The brother just closed. He just closed the door. Finally, ask the question and then leave. All right. No, that's not saying that. Hold on, hold on. You said, do I follow all God's laws? Yes. That's not. That don't mean that I, that I come short sometimes. We all, we all, we all fight and struggle, right? Look, like you in a, you in a car right now, right? You try to follow all the traffic laws, but sometimes you might get a ticket. But it's about what? Correcting it and whatnot, not doing it no more. That's what we out here to do. We understand, give me, hold on, give me time, it's three and three. We understand, we understand that, look, our people is, is at a lowest state. We, we all sin, as, 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 as the Bible says. We all sin, it came short. But it's about what? Repenting. Knowing that, look, I was a whoremonger. The Bible says not to be a whoremonger. I didn't mean, look, once I repent, I can't do that no more. I used to be a thief. I used to go around stealing from my own brother. The Bible says not to steal. So once I read that, I'm like, you know what, damn. I can't do it no more. And that's what we got to do. That's what we do. Hold on, bro. Titus 3 and 3. The book of Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We ourselves, I myself, was sometimes foolish. I myself have sinned. We ain't, you ain't looking at no perfect men. But you are looking at the men of God. You are looking at men that are striving to keep God's commandments. That is what? That love their people to come out to correct our people. As long as I, if I'm not out, who's, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it, bro? Is it the pastor that's in the church? Is he going to do it? Is the politician, Joe Biden, is he going to do it? No. So we have to what? We have to what? First, look, correct ourselves, then come out and correct our people. It ain't about being, we, it ain't about being perfect. Like, like you said, yeah, Christ was perfect. We are to be, we are to strive to be like Christ. But the only way you'll do that is to be around amongst people that got the same goal as you. You ain't gonna do it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? All right, we gotta get it. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, disobedient. Like I said, we all were disobedient, right? But look, I got brothers around me that can correct me if I am off. That's what we try out here to let you know. You have a, a nation of people that can be behind you. That can when you fall off. That's the, that's the solution. The solution is coming together. Zephaniah 1, 2 and 1. Coming together, that's the solution, bro. Not being an individual. You think you got, you got a one time, I got, I got my own business. 
I'm good, I'm Gucci. But your brothers on the, on, on, on the streets killing themselves. They, your sisters on the streets getting whored the hell out. Sex trafficking all over the place. We gotta stop that as men. We gotta do it. We, we the ones that gotta be the ones to stop that. Right? Read. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says you have to gather yourself together. That's the solution. Gathering yourself together, that's how you're going become to become to be perfect. You're not going to be perfect by yourself. You got to have somebody in there next to you that, that can what? Hold you accountable, right? Right? Because if I, if once I start uh, falling off, I got to pray. Hey, hold on, bro. That, that ain't right. Let's, 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 let's get out of that. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't a good solution for you. Let's come back and keep the God's law. The Bible says this. Let's do this. That's how you become perfect. Not by yourself, bro. You understand that, sis? So we ain't, you ain't looking at no man saying, look, we perfect. We got everything right. We don't. But we are striving to keep God's laws and the faith of his son, Jesus Christ. You hear me on that? All right? So like, like, like hey, you said you keep. Don't, don't. You said something, though. You said the laws of God is, is impossible to keep. That's incorrect. But you know why? Because you're by yourself. That's why, bro. Read the Bible again. Read, read, it, read it from the top. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says, gather yourselves together. What? Read. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Sister, look, if you look at the sign right here, right? You see that nation over there? See that list of names? It's all the way to my, uh, my left. The children of Israel. Judah all the way down. That's one nation of people. When you read to the right of that, it gives you the label that they put on us, right? African Americans, Mexicans, it's, uh, uh, Puerto Ricans. Cubans. We think we're different. God calls us one nation of Israel. We are one people. He's letting us know in the last day, which is today, we have to come back together. We can't just look at that. That's a Mexican over. No, that's my brother. The only way we're going to be able to come together, become perfect, to get out of the, the condition we in, is think, think about it. Say it again. Well, if we look at each other the same as what? As brothers and sisters. Yeah, catch that brother. You get a flower, sis. You get a flower. Hey, hey, contact is all right. All right. I like your spirit. We do. But if we, if you got people saying it's impossible to keep God's laws, how are we gonna do that, bro? Come, come, come deal with me. Come, 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 what, what you mean by it then? What you mean by it? All right. You know what? Why, why, why do you think God hates you because of that? What? Hebrews he really 10, uh, not for second. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, absolutely. Because think about it, think about it. A lot of people say smoking, you know, it's, it's a habit. I'm going to do whatever it can be. It's hard and it's quick. Think about it. You go and you go to a store and buy it every day. It's literally as simple as not buying it no more. Think about it. If you was broke, you wouldn't have that. You wouldn't have that habit. So it is a choice. It is a choice. You will have to, right? You will have to. So you got to think about it. What's more important? Me striving to be perfect, me keeping God's laws, or that that lust, or that or that that, that, that one thing I want to do, knowing it's bad for me, right? You think about it. You can literally take that cigarette in your hand right now, throw it out the window. And be done with it. Take that hole. Look, we gotta take that last puff, though. That, that, that's our people. You know what I'm talking about? We gotta take that last puff. See what? <laughs> gotta take that last. Come on, bro. Go. So, you gotta work up. Listen, listen. Hold on, the Hebrews 11. Give me one, one more scripture. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As the manner of some is. So it, this is go with the other scripture I read about gathering together, right? We can't forsake every opportunity we can come together. Assembling ourselves together. Like you said, coming together. We got to come back together as one nation, right? Hold each other accountable. That's what that does. But read on. But exhorting one another. Because when you come together, you're going to exhort. Look, I know you're struggling with cigarettes. But you know, as long as you're here with me, bro, we both going to fight that thing. You know, whenever you see me try to fall off, I'm going to, hey, you're going to correct me. I see you follow, hey, correct me. That's how you, that's how you, yeah, we got a, yeah, yeah, we got one. You got a flyer? The, 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 on the back of the uh, flyer is our address. Hold on. 
Yeah, yeah, we go hey, every week, bro. Every week we come, we all come together when we get down with this. And then we guess what we do? We hold each other accountable. Because a lot of us, a lot of us was ex, uh, uh, ex users. A lot of, a lot of us did come off of that cigarettes, weed, wherever the case may be. But we got brothers around us that can hold us accountable. That's what. That's the solution. I got you. But we got, we got to stop all that because all that is what to our detriment. Ain't none of that, ain't none of that bringing us together. Not in the Bible. Exactly. But let me finish this one. I know you got to go. Let me finish these last two verses. All right, read it. Read from the top again. Read 25 or 26. 26. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. It says, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. The day of what? The day of Christ coming back. Because once Christ comes back, it's all done. And whatever you did before is going to determine if you make it to the kingdom or if you get killed. That's a, that's a proven fact that Christ is, we just said Christ is going to come back. He's going to come back to redeem his people. But you got to be right. Huh? That's not as his people. He's going to come back to redeem the, the Israelites. Yes, sir. It's going to be a big thing like Right? But into that, yeah, it starts in the mind. But the things that we touch on is what? Things that we can just card as the physical things. Smoking weed, that's, that's, that's not just mental. Yeah, you thought it, it starts in your mind, but you act on that thing. So it's, it's both mental and it's all that. Mental, physical, uh, uh, spiritual. It's not just mental. But let's just finish that off. Hold on, read. For if we sin willfully. So this, that's what, this is the part I wanted to get right here. Read that part again. Read. For if we sin willfully if we sin willfully Look, like I said back to the cigarettes you will ain't nobody pushing you in your back pushing you to that counter and asking for that, uh, that cigarette ain't nobody doing that so it's willful you know what I mean? <laughs> let me have you good but you want to fuck up but look up but look when you come when you come uh, to our school you want to have brothers right that can hold you accountable like that you know what I mean because why because we, we was in the same position we was in the same position bro Exactly. And it's for the women as well. They got sisters that can hold them accountable. The men hold ourselves accountable. That's what it, that's how we become perfect. That's how we become one nation. But we gotta first we gotta stop being being selfish and say, look, I can do it by myself. The, the, the Bible ain't never said that. The Bible ain't never said, look, separate the almost from people and just get better. No. It always said to come together. It don't work like that, but let's we'll read that part again with you. We're gonna finish this one verse and we'll let you go, alright? Read verse uh, 26 again. Read. Verse 26, for if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, read, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So once you sin willfully, after you know that you received the knowledge, meaning what? We know that drugs is bad for us. We know that stealing is bad, stealing is bad for us. We know that killing is bad for us. We know that hatred upon our own people is bad for us. Once we know that and we still do it willfully, read, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Meaning there's no salvation. Meaning when Christ come back, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna save you. Because why? You knew what you was doing. You knew that what you were doing was, was evil. Is that it? Oh, hey, 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 Jesus drunk. Jesus was a, he, he drunk wine, but we can't be drunk. That's the point. We can't be drunk. We can drink. We can, we, 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 we can, we can, all, we can all drink. You know what I mean? Like, but you know we don't get drunk. The Bible doesn't. He speaks. It speaks against being drunk, bro. Right? Because once you get drunk, you're out of your element. Exactly. We can't be like that. But we can drink. We are. We have a good time. You know what I'm talking about? We party every week. But it gotta be in righteousness, bro, bro. All right. It has to be in righteousness. It gotta be under God's laws. You gotta have a good time. You gotta. Have, you can do the things that you know. Uh, 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 splurge a little bit. But it gotta. Be, it gotta be covering. And within what God says. Exactly. Because like I said, with that cigarette. I know you got a pack in your, in your pocket somewhere. So guess what, what, what you going to do? Are you going to? You know, today. Today. What's your name, bro? LaShawn. Look, LaShawn. I like you. Remember, if you really want to get right with God, he, he, it's real clear what we got to do. We can't willfully sin no more. We know what we know is what's killing us. That cigarette box tells you it's going to 
kill you, bro. We out here dodging bullets, talking about the white man eating all that, but we going to stores and buying boxes that's letting you know it will, not if, but it will kill you. That's right. We can't be hypocrites no more, bro. We can't. The Bible says to come together. That's how we're going to survive all this. By having brothers and sisters around you that can hold you accountable. You ain't going to do it by yourself. All right? All right, bro. Uh, we uh, read that 26 again. I don't think you uh, finished all of them. Hey, take the flyer. The flyer's on the back. The, uh, give the brother another flyer. This is what this is how this is how we build each other. We got we gotta exhort. You ain't doing it by yourself. I ain't doing it by myself. You know what I'm saying? Read it again. 26. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remains no more sacrifice for sins. I mean, there ain't no more ten, like, well, hey, hey, well, I'm sorry. I thought I knew, I thought I knew better. No, you did know better. You just chose to do wickedly. You chose to smoke that cigarette. You chose to smoke that blunt. You chose to keep filling that, 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 uh, that bottle up with liquor to the point you drunk. You chose those things. And God is saying the only way, the only the solution is to stop it. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.